hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video so this is part 3 of our C programming tutorial series and in the previous video we have discussed the basic structure of our C program so we have discussed uh, the import statement the main function and then of course the lines to be executed by a program inside our main function so the next uh, thing that we want to talk about is the order of execution in every C program. So basically, if we have like four lines here to print something in our screen like this. So as I've said, in C program, it is executing in order line by line. So this will be the first one or the first line to be executed. And then the second line to be executed, the third line to be executed, and the fourth line to be executed. So, so for example, we'll try to make this 2, and then 3, or I mean 3, and then 4. Let's try to build and run this. So we have the output as um, hello world hello 2, hello number 3, and hello number 4. So basically, all the statements are executed in order line by line. So, so for example, we have or we want to draw something in the screen. So like we want to draw a triangle. So here, and then another one here. And then another one, just to show you the uh, sequence of execution of this particular C program. So right here, another um, slash. And then here, and maybe here. And another one, another line or, or vertical line. And also here and we need to add the new line or line break for this uh, print statements and we can make this or add like the underscore and let's try to build and run this and you can see we have the triangle displayed in our screen and that means that the lines has been printed or has been executed in order line per line so if we try to make changes and instead of placing it here uh, let's space it before printing the first line so the output will be like this a funky looking shape that's because we execute the first statement to have like the forward slash the underscore and then the vertical and that's why we have an output like this so just bear in mind that in every program it is executing line per line okay so now let's try to discuss placeholders okay placeholders for different uh, data types so there are in programming there are types or data types that we want to work with so for example string we have characters we have integer we have float and other uh, data types so so for example you want to display string you just have to like say hello world and this is this is a string let's just remove this okay save and run and build so we now have like the output of our uh, program hello world this is a string but if you want to try it or if you want to print a number so, so for example 32 so let's try this run and build and as you can see we have um, returned negative 10 7 3 4 8 1 or 1 8 and 1 9 so basically what this means is that there's uh, something wrong with our program because 
as I've said before, zero should be the standard or the return if the program uh, runs smoothly or there's no pro uh, there's no problem while running our program. So basically here we have negative, so it means we have problems, right? And we can see here that um, note expected constant char, but argument is of type int, as you can see here. So uh, basically we cannot directly display number by using this. So we can uh, use placeholder, uh, placeholder for that. So this will be for our placeholder. So instead of using directly 32 here, we can say percent and then D. So D is for integer. So if you want to display integer, you might want to uh, use the percent %d placeholder. And then inside this printf statement, you need to add the comma. And then of course the value that you want to be printed. So percent %d and then comma and then the actual value that you want to be printed. So let's try that. Build and print or uh, build and run. And as you can see here, process return 0 and then we have here the value 32 so let's try this one more time backslash n build and run and here we can see uh, we can see clearly what is happening here so hello world this is a string and the value 32 so that's the purpose of percent d is a placeholder for an integer value Another one we have for large integers. So for example, there are like a very large number or very large integer. The keyword for that or the placeholder for that is LD, which stands for large integer. Okay. So, so for example, we have like um, very big integer right here. Okay. So that's the placeholder percent %ld. And then of course we also have for decimal values or float values. So for example, you want to say 32.5 or 30, yeah, 30, 32.5. This is for again decimal or float value. Okay? Let's just say float value here. So percent %f, percent %d for integer, percent %ld for large integer, percent %f for float number, and another one for large float. Okay, so this will be for large float. And then another one for, so for example, you want to display a character in... Uh, you want to display like letter A. So the placeholder for that is percent %c and then the actual value that should be uh, typed in inside the single quote characters. So this will be for a char or character. And then another one is for the string. So, so for example, you want to display hello world. This is a string. And then uh, you want to display that. You can also use percent %s for the placeholder for that. So you can say hello from printf. Okay. So this will be for our string. So basically string is just a, a series of characters, meaning... Uh, string is just composed of several characters. So for example, this one, H, E, L, L, O, and F, R, O from, and so on. You, you get the idea. But basically, all these placeholders can be used to display different values or different types of values. The integer, large integer, float, large float, character, and string. So let's try to display this and maybe add the backslash n here and here also here here 
here and here so uh, build and run there you go you can see here the output of our program and we did not specify directly the values of this um, figures so instead we're using printf and then the placeholder so for example percent d for integer percent d for large integer and so on so i think that's it for this particular tutorial